welcome. Gracie and I are on an eight day excursion. We want to welcome you on this backpacking, camping, fishing trip. Glad to have you along. We're in the central eastern part of Arizona in the White Mountains. We're going to be doing some bass, rainbow, brown, and Apache trout river fishing. Okay, we're going to make this camp. This is what we did today. We parked here on the Forest Road 25 and then we began our backpacking hike through the Apache National Forest through here. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous all the way through here. Down to here and across the Black River. Hiking here and Gracie and I crossed here through this gorgeous area right in here. Great view of this peak right here. And coming down crossing the Black River here and this beautiful forest through here and this is where we're camping 3.2 miles in and 160 feet of elevation gain Sucker fish on a night crawler. Real pretty rainbow. Nice black dots. Beautiful fish. Colorful bow. Look at that pink on that thing. Today was a good day. We were able to hike in gorgeous forest, got into our camp, set everything up, and then I was able to go fishing. I was able to catch four fish. Uh, one was a sucker and three rainbows. I got two other up to shore and then they sprung free. Gracie and I wanted to say good night. morning. It's another glorious day in the wilderness. I'm going to put my fishing gear together and go down to this hole down here and see if I can catch this big monster brown trout that I've seen down there before. And then after that I think I'm going to pack up and I'm going to head on down the river. Not the brown I was hoping for but a real pretty rainbow trout. So we're on our way back to camp. This was a very nice campsite. We're gonna head on down river now.
Gracie and I are done backpacking for today. We're gonna do our camping right here. Some nice rocks here where we can do our cooking and sit down. And then right behind me is the Black River. And going down and going back up, there's some absolutely gorgeous holes. And that's where I'm gonna be doing my fishing. We started backpacking from our camp right here. Hiked down to the Black River, across the Black River. Once we got over here, we could see these mountains here. Beautiful. And then we hiked down here, across the river again here. We just continued to backpack through here. And Gracie and I crossed here and came over here. And these mountains right through here are absolutely stunning. And we are camping somewhere, I would say, right in there. It was a total of 2.1 miles and about 200 feet of elevation gain. Well, today's hike was very scenic. There were some beautiful mountains, beautiful forest, and beautiful water. I just fished where we'd camped this morning, and that was the only place I'd fished. I didn't fish any of the places along here yet. I'm going to do that tomorrow. Gracie and I wanted to say goodnight. Good morning. Today's plan is to do some catch and cook fishing and then enjoy a trout dinner and then just relish being in this beautiful place. First fish of the day, the rainbow. That's a real pretty bow. There are crayfish all over in this Black River. I decided I was going to have crayfish for dinner tonight instead of fish. I found a dead crayfish in the water, cut off its tail, and I just put a piece of the tail on a treble hook. Look through the water and find a pretty good sized crayfish. And then I lower this down in the water into its claws and then it starts eating on this thing. While it's eating on that little piece of crayfish tail, I take my fillet knife and I go down in the water really slowly onto its head and then I stab it. I've probably got about 10 crayfish here that I'm gonna have for dinner. This is where I stabbed it. Cut off the tail and that's what we'll be eating right there. I have never prepared crawfish before. I've never caught crawfish before. I just kind of figured it out as I went. I'm just gonna take my fillet knife and go up under those bones there and twist it. Okay, I'll peel back those bones and that exposes the meat, a little piece of meat. I'm gonna cook the crayfish in this olive oil and this clarified butter. So I got it really hot and I've turned it off. I'm gonna throw these crayfish in. I don't really have a plate, so I'm just gonna use the bottom of this. I'm sure they're cooked by now, It'll take long. And there they are. Put a little salt on them. Mmm. Freshwater lobster. Those are delicious. Approaching the end of the day. Uh, total number of fish I caught today was five. I caught a sucker, three rainbow, and a really small baby Apache. It was cute as can be though. Not my best day of fishing on the Black River, but it was respectable. Good night. Good morning. Yesterday morning, I went up river fishing and I ran into a backpacking fishing compadre and he ran into a rattlesnake. And he took a picture of it and I saw it and it's a pretty good sized one. So we gotta keep our eyes open today. That is wild snapdragon. This thorn bush is all over the place here. As I was hiking yesterday on the trail and I went through some of this and it cut me on my forearms. So gnarly bushes. I saw a big brown sitting right in that little hole right there. And then he saw me and he took off. Snake Creek comes through here and confluences with the Black River right here. Damn, I just saw a rattlesnake.
One thing I like about hiking in this canyon with the river and having to cross the river so many times is that I don't have stinky feet. This looks like bear to me. I would have thought a dog here, but uh, that being that big like that, that's got to be a bear. It's the tree nights of the round table. That outcropping there in the center is the table. And then look at how all the trees are around it. This was our backpacking hike today. Packed up our camp and came down the Black River, hiking past the Snake Creek confluence. And then we crossed the Black River here and hiked down this way, crossed the Black River again, came up here and then dropped down and we found an awesome campsite. From our camp this morning to this camp was three mile backpack hike. It's a 200 foot elevation gain. The Apache National Forest, White Mountains, is absolutely gorgeous. Fire does some really interesting artwork. This is the end of the fourth day. Good night. Good morning. Joseph Fly. On a floating Rapala. Six tenths of a pound, 14 inches. So this is gonna be my catch and cook for the day. cook a fish and using my jet boil. At this time, the National Forest Service has asked that you not have any campfires out in the back country. That's why you have noticed that I haven't had any campfires. What we have here is the two rainbow trout fillets, flour and Zatarain's blackened seasoning. I don't have a frying pan, so I'm gonna cook them like I did the crayfish. So I'm just gonna cut them into little pieces, put them in the Zatarain's flour mix. Start with some olive oil and the ghee. It's hot enough. Let's drop one of those in at a time. What they look like. Smells good. And there they are. And now the taste test. Delectable. Mm. I've never prepared trout like this before. 
I'm going to do it again. This is good stuff. I'm going to review briefly one item that I bring on my backpacking and fishing expeditions. Superfeet. They're an insole that can go in shoes or boots and the heel is cupped really deep and put what it does takes the natural fat in your heel and compresses it. These have made an enormous difference on when I arrive at the end of the day at camp, feet feel less tired and my knees are less sore. I never go anywhere without these. They are awesome. The day's coming to a close. Fishing report for the day was five fish. Largest was 14 inches. Smallest was, you know, just tiny. As a matter of fact, that's probably the most are caught were the small ones. But secluded. This place is so isolated. I didn't see anybody all day long. Didn't even hear anybody. If you want to come to get away from people, this is the place. And I went a mile up and down the river. And it is picturesque beautiful. Good night. Top of the morning. This is the beginning of the sixth day of our Black River Canyon adventure. There were a couple places upriver that I passed that I did not fish. So we're going to go up there, set up camp, so I can fish those areas. We're on our way. This is a horse trail that drops down to where we were camped. This is not the trail that Greasy and I came in on. I believe this trail will take us up over the mountain and drop us into the Snake Creek Black River confluence. Let's hope I'm right. Otherwise, this was a tremendous waste of time. And energy. <laughs> but my wife would probably say, hey, good for you, lose a few pounds. Where Gracie and I are hiking now is one mile from camp, 730 foot elevation gain. Real close to here, there is a place where you can drive a horse trailer in. What we're gonna do is go level over and then hopefully be able to drop down to the Snake Creek Black River confluence. Black River down there. We've made it back to the confluence of Snake Creek and Black River. It is a hot one today. It's like it's getting in the water. Leaves of three, leave it be. There is so much poison ivy here, and I got some on me right there. This place is teeming with life. Can you see those minnows? That is a gorgeous tree. And the way the light is hitting the leaves on top, unbelievable. Okay, this looks like a place for a tent right here. I'm gonna make this camp. This was our backpack hike today. We left our camp here and hiked up this mountain, up the horse trail, up here, along here, came down here, here, weaved our way down to the Black River, continued hiking up this, and then did a river crossing right here, and then crossed the Black River again there, and then hiked over and found an awesome campsite four and three quarter mile hike, 1200 feet in elevation gain.
like it's about ready to rain, so I gotta hurry, get everything put away and in the tent. So Gracie and I are gonna say goodnight. Good morning. As you can see, it's a gorgeous day today. And I'm gonna be fishing specifically for smallmouth bass because that's what I wanna to have to eat today. The last smallmouth bass that I caught on this river was with Countdown Rapala, something similar to this. I'm hoping for a couple big ones for catching cooked dinner today. I'm hungry for some smallmouth bass. Got a big hook on and a crawdad tail. And just no weight, nothing. I just threw it out and let it sink. Brown, probably a two pounder. Just got off. No small mouths today. This is the first fish I landed. This is a bow. Fishing not so hot today. I caught two fish, I landed one, and I'm eating that right now. That is so good. Wow. This is my final night here at the Black River. Good night. Good morning. Today's the last day of our backpacking and fishing trip. Gracie and I are ready to hit the canyon trail. We're about a half a mile from finishing our hike today. Before we end the trip, I wanted to review some of the highlights. The fishing part of our trip, I'll have to go with that two pound brown that I'm not gonna be able to show you because he flipped off the hook right on the shore. I guess this will be a fish story. My favorite fishing hole is this one, a fisherman's dream. The best camping site was the furthest one out that we got to. The trees and the mountainside there were just spectacular and the feel was so secluded. I do have to say I have the greatest companion ever. This border collie will go anywhere I go. It is so fun to watch her cross the river. If you see behind the scenes, she'll do scenes with me over and over which, which require that she go back in the water. She's amazing great actress. The Apache National Forest, this place is just stunning. It's the white grass that covers the mountainsides, the orange barked ponderosa pines, and the wildlife, uh, turkey, mountain goats, all kinds of interesting bugs that I've never seen before. Awesome foliage. The flowers are just spectacular. This is a great place. The canyon walls gives me goosebumps every time. The Black River by itself, it takes my breath away. My favorite view of the trip was on top of that horse trail up on the rim where we could see all the mountains surrounding the Black River. It actually got me kind of choked up. Well, that's a wrap. Thank you again for coming with us. So, until next time.
Thank you.